there, Nick Hart, Philo's Fishing Manager, back for the fourth in our series all about fly lines. We've already covered floaters and intermediates, and today we're going to have a look at these, fast sinking fly lines. Now you've joined me here on a, a venue that's really close to my heart, this is Wimbledon Reservoir. It's absolutely beautiful here, it's about 380 acres, high up on the Exmoor National Park, um, just a stunning place to be. But the day that we've picked, we've got a bit of a northeasterly wind, super bright sun, and so I think that early season we're going to need to go down, find those fish using our sinking lines. Come and join me on the boat, let's see what we can find. So we've arrived, my heart's pumping a little bit. It's the first day out for me this year on a reservoir. Absolutely stunning. We've got bright sun here, super blue skies. The water clarity here is just incredible as well. We've got a, a northerly wind. Um, it's, uh, as you can see, I've even got a pair of gloves on. And um, yeah, it's cold. So I'm expecting um, that the fish are gonna be down, especially as we've had a mild spell. We've had a, a, a nice start to the spring, but it's cooled down and the next sort of week is supposed to sort of get chillier. So I'm kind of expecting that that's knocked the fish off slightly. They're probably down there somewhere. So I've got a die five on. This is a, a sinking line. There's all sorts of them available out there. All the five means is that it sinks at five inches per second. And if you get interested in fishing sinking lines, and believe me, you'll catch more fish if you can fish all the depths, you'll find that most of these lines now have sink rates so they'll they'll tell you in fact all of them have sink rates so they'll tell you eight inches per second seven inches per second six five whatever it might be and that then allows you to pretty much mathematically and i know we talked about this a little bit in the last video mathematically kind of work out now that might sound like a a little bit complicated but it's as simple as throw your line out there get it straightened up and do a bit of counting and you're trying to work out where in the water column that's what fishing is all about every single type of fishing basically is where's the fish feeding how deep is it feeding at how am i going to get my fly there so with this i'm throwing a, a fairly long line just so as i can get it down nice and deep notice i'm not doing thousands of false casts you don't want to be doing that because the fish sinking lines you want to keep that line in the water. You want to be down there with the fish. As soon as this hit the water, I give it a good few pulls. That makes sure that everything's straight. I'm now dead in touch with the flies, just in case you get my favorite take, which is that as the line all sinks, you get this lovely big lock up um, and, a, and a fish grabs your fly and away it goes. We're fishing a couple of little mini lures. The infamous, the detested in some circles, blob but a great, great searching pattern. It's a, a great way of finding out if there's some stockies around. And to be brutally honest, it's early season. Uh, I just want to get a nice tug on the end of the line. So we just moved in here a little bit. We're going to be fishing onto a point. Ooh, oh, 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 oh. Yeah! I was just saying we've just moved in. So we, there's a point up here and uh, as you can see, we're not that far from the bank, but Wimberpool, we're in a, an area called Rugs Bay. Wimberpool's a deep reservoir. The deepest point's about 120 feet. You're dropping off of this bank here right now, well, I'd say you're dropping into 10, 12 foot very quickly, um, heading out to 15, 20. When we were having a little chat back there about the methods that I was using, we're kind of in what I call no man's land a little bit. We're kind of a bit out in the middle of the bay. So Johnny, who's on the camera, very kindly scooters us in closer to the point up there, going into an area called Bessem's Bridge. And I promise you, I reckon we've had two casts here. And um, just as I was 
going to do a little bit of chatting to you about why we'd moved. This fellow decided to grab hold, and as you can see, it is properly hanging on. This is what Wimbledon's famous for. The water here is cold, deep, uh, and the fish just seem to thrive on it. Yeah, I'm on fish. Yes. Yes. First reservoir rainbow of the year. Come here, baby. Just let's have a quick look at you. That is about as perfect a uh, reservoir rainbow as you could possibly hope for. It's a stunning fish. So there we are, the black and green blob uh, has done the business for us. We're gonna get them out there again and uh, see if we can get some more. And by the way, all tied on a barbless hook. This is a catch and release fishery. People talk about barbless hooks and losing fish. I personally think you land more with them. I absolutely love the things. That fish was in the net blob out we had a very quick look at it and and then away it goes and it's back there literally to fight another day i'm gonna see if i can catch another one oh yes i thought we had a bump yes <laughs> that was brilliant. Nice little tap. Speeded up the retreat. Second fish of the year. As Nick was stopping to have a sandwich, I picked up a rod and uh, we've gone back through one of the hot spots where Nick's already had a couple of fish. And following his advice on the nice slow retrieve, letting that line sink all the way down, I've hooked a fish. There we go. Let's have a quick look at a beautiful wimble ball rainbow. little rest a little bit of lunch and um, best of all well we stopped Johnny had a little fish who's on the camera behind the camera right now and he caught a slab four pound rainbow uh, pristine condition and um, interestingly he caught that on a intermediate line he was a little bit higher in the water now the thing is with these sinking lines you can go a little bit mad I've got all sorts of different lines in there I wouldn't recommend, to begin with, that you go out and buy yourself all these lines. You will get very, very confused. Instead, you know, we've talked about the floating lines and the intermediates in previous episodes of these films. Uh, the next one would probably be something like this, which is a, this is a three inch per second sinking line. I'm gonna pop this on to my uh, cassette reel in a moment. It's very quick to change. And because Johnny caught in that intermediate, I'm gonna give that a little bit of a go. This is an awesome area called Calmore. Love this part of Wimbledon. Um, we're situated over a nice deep channel. Uh, there's a feeder stream in behind here that runs out. So we're in a nice deep channel. Uh, the three is gonna be the line that I'm gonna try. You can see that this one is this sort of darky green color. The rod and the reel there set up that's what I've been using today. So that's the five inch per second. 
This particular one's in a blue, but generally you'll find that as the lines get faster, they get darker. So let's grab this one and you can see actually it's black. So that is a seven inch per second sinker. So you can, in the modern day, fish so many different levels. If you've got your floater and your intermediate, you're getting into your first sinking lines, try a three inch per second sinker and maybe a five, just get you down there that bit faster. That's enough for me. There is a huge, gorgeous expanse of water here right in front of us. Um, I'm gonna line up with this new line and I'm gonna get a line out there and see if I can uh, catch another of these spanking Wimbledon rainbows. So that was, I was just lifting that up. This was on the die three, so it was a little bit higher in the water, so the three inch per second sinker. Still quite deep here, we're over a channel. But this fish took, and this is a really important thing for sinking lines, this fish took, as I was lifting up slowly, slowly, slowly on the hang, you'll catch a lot of fish like that. There it is. It's on the black and green again. Great early season color. Yeah, there we are, brilliant. We've stayed out much later than we expected. I promised Johnny that we'd head to the pub. But to be honest, the fishing here on Wimbledon today has just been spectacular. Nothing short of spectacular either. We've had a good dozen fish, probably a lot more than that. Uh, a couple of fish that bust us off, lost quite a few as well. Um, it's just been brilliant. And the, the tactic has definitely been sinking lines. Started on the five. So remember that's a five inch per second sinker. Caught some fish on that just by throwing it out, pulling it straight, and actually as it was sinking, just slowly figure of basing it down, and then bringing it all the way back again, kind of nice and slow with a few little twitches in there as well. We've caught them on the hang. We've had these really nice sort of where it gets a bit heavy and then you lock up. And we've also had full on pull your arm out of your socket takes as well. A Little bit later on in the uh, day, uh, Johnny had a bit of a break and a bit of a fish. Fish with an intermediate, caught a fish. So I decided to go on my um, my three inch per second sinker. That proved good as well. To be absolutely honest, the fish in here today, as I say, it's just, just been great. The key thing though, those sinking lines, is just try and get control over, the, over them. You might need a drogue sometimes to slow your drift down. Uh, if you find a few fish and, and you think that they're in a pod, you might wanna drop an anchor down, make sure you drop it down and that it's nice and quiet so you don't scare them. And, uh, and then overall, just keep thinking, control, 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 because sinking lines are not just throw them out, chuck and chance and hope for the best. It's about trying to find the fish. And on that note, we're gonna leave this fantastic lake. We're gonna go and find ourselves a beer and I hope that you will join me again soon on the water. Thank you very much for watching.